everyone. It's Joe from Lucas, and I bet you're wondering where I'm at because I'm not at the store. I'm at an amazing place. Jumped out of the airplane. I'm out in Maryland. And if you can see just a little bit out there, I don't want to go out there because I don't want to get my hair wet. I'm at Old Wine. Old Wine makes amazing alcohol, and we got a surprise for you at the end of this video. I'm going to be sharing it with you to wait for that. But let's go in. Let's meet the owners. We're here at the distillery. We want to talk about the amazing stuff they do here. And it is amazing and it's different. So, hey, ours, I see it. I don't yeah. 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 Oh, I see These are great guys, man. Hey, veterans. All right. We got on it. Thank you. Thank you. And they both were in airplanes. Navy boys. Yeah. All right. So, hey, what I want to do is, I want you to talk to us about everything you've done here. Which is pretty amazing. Old wine did amazing spirit. I mean, it is, it is, it is tremendous spirit. And I was I'm trying to understand why, because when I drank it the first time, it kind of shocked me a little bit. Now we're gonna come back to you when we. Now you can come with us, Stella. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I was sitting here all day, and I'm talking with Archie. He's telling me about this amazing. Well, look at this facility. This is an amazing distillery. It is done first class, but it's beyond the first class that I want to. I want to talk about the spirit that they produce. And I didn't understand why it tasted the way it did, because this is clearly one of the best I've ever tasted in this category. So I wanted to try and understand it, okay? And I did. So, salute. So, I mean, it's, it's an outstanding spirit. What is it? It's a single one. And I think one of the challenges we have in the single malt category, especially American single malt, we have a perception of what they taste like. This is very bourbon-esque. And that was one of the things I was trying to figure out is how did they do it? So I had to come here to figure that out. And it's amazing because it's different technology, right? It's a hybrid still. I didn't even know what a hybrid still was. So let's go and talk about that. Let's go about that. All right, I'm speaking a little bit. Let's go over here. Come on, let's, come on now. Stacy's on the camera, guys. Come on. So let's talk, let's, if you look at the mash, the mash though, so these are the grains, it's all malted barley. But if you see the top part, there's 10% that's caramelized. And I'll kind of, you know, we'll give you a kind of a quick understanding, but what's, because it's the secret of why this tastes the way it does. It's, it's a big piece of it. Uh, 90% of those naturals, 50 rows, single malt, it's got a, a lot of work over capability in terms of making it all. This top part, that's the one that's seen in the camera, that, that, that crystal C120, that is going to have a lot of uh, caramel notes. You might find more bourbons um, in, in traditional single malts, uh, but it's it's adding a lot of flavor. Not a lot of alcohol, so it's a little bit of a uh, it's cost microphone, but it, it does add a lot of flavor. So I'll give you a, let me give you a different version too, right? Single malt, we start the fermentation process, we burn it off, boom, we're ready, we got a malt. That's what we do, we make scotch, we do everything. When that 10% malt is basically roasted. Is that fair yeah. yeah. statement? Yeah. So, and there's, there's really not a lot of sugar left in it, right? It's done. Caramelized. Yeah. Yeah. Caramelized. And that brings all that flavor. Man, I can't, it blows my mind because it doesn't make a single malt. And I want, I want people to really learn this category because this is a hidden category. As we do these, we got to start to learn. The public got to understand. This is great juice. You just gotta try it. It'll blow you away. We'll have it on the tasting counter as soon as I get back. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. We go over in here. Okay, you guys know what that is. That's when we do the mash, right? We start the process. And we come over here. Say, it's come this way. Because I think this was, I looked at this and tried. What are you doing? <laughs> Everybody wants to see the inside of the mash. Alright, come on over here. Oh, yes. You can't do that on camera. Okay. <laughs> So, if you guys look at this, I think it's pretty amazing, right? You this is your, this is a typical pot still, right? We look at pot stills, we know what they are, and it's cooking, I mean, they're working, right? And I understood that process, right? I, I, I understand that process, but where I, I was like, when you look behind me, you're seeing another tower. And I was like, why is that tower there? And this is where you start to understand you start to understand what makes the difference. And I don't want to you know, get too far, because I don't know that everyone's going to be able to understand it just on video. But everything
everything leaves this, which is traditional. That's what we all understand. And that ends up the column. So you explain the column and the silver top hand on top that makes the magic. So the, the little half column we have is basically a polish. We have more plates in there, and the deflagmator on top. A deflagmator. That's a new word. I don't know if you named it up or not. I'm not going to judge it, okay? Like, okay, that's fine. All right, all right. It's a great word. Travel uh, word, too. I don't want to spell it, though. But okay. Uh, and that, what that's going to do is it's going to filter out some of the uh, undesirable alcohol so you don't want to convey into the uh, finished uh, dental. So what we get is, is a, a more polished spirit. So we get, the, we get all the benefits of a hot still distillation, all these great flavors, and then we get a chance to filter out the ones we don't want right before it goes in the barrel. I think that's so I really want you guys to understand that. So all the distillers I go to, wineries, wherever I go to, I see something new, and I want to understand how you do it because it tastes amazing, it really does. And, I, and that's the reason, right? So there's got to be a reason. So that's it, the top hand. Silver top hat, we'll call it, or the the plug The plug <laughs> yeah. It sounds like Willy Wonka. Yeah. Hey guys, just an offset. If you stay zoom up to that guy right there. So those of you that want to know how gin is made, what's that called specifically? That's a gin basket. It's a gin basket. So you put all the botanicals in there, and as it comes out of the pot still, all that heat is going to absorb those botanicals. So it's pretty amazing. And then we finish the process. And it's traditional. It's traditional like any other whiskey. You're going to add your hearts. Donnie, you're going to add your tail and your hearts and your head. That's right. And you're going to go through that process. Yeah, we're going to make cuts. Uh, based on our recipe, we're going to make the cuts. Every facility is different, uh, which is a great thing about hot distilling. Mm -hmm. You can make uh, pretty fine cuts. You're going to get great flavor. So, so everybody understands this, though. So, and, it, and this is, I, I learned this thing. If I cut deeper into my tail, I'm going to have a little more malt flavor that really sink them off that high scotchy flavor. You're, you're, you're going to get more. You're going to get more flavor, but it, it, nothing's free. You're also going to get a little bit of funkiness, and you might get a little bit of alcohol. So, so that fire in your pump. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, good, good distillers are going to want to make that cut. Every distillery is different on where you want to make that cut. The higher the proof, the, the, the fewer flavors to still out. The lower the cut, the more flavor, but it only comes with cuts. Excellent. And you cut, you don't cut as deep. We don't cut too deep, we don't cut too shallow. We, yeah, we're, uh, we're right for the Well, I, I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah. I don't want to say something wrong to the owners. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get them to buy me dinner. Anyways, come on, guys. You don't want to give it too easy. <laughs> hey, so check this place out. And there's a, there's a side, there's a facility at a side over there. You can't, the lights are out. It's rainy, we're in the middle of like it's normal. But they do corporate events here, they got Saturdays, they, they have events here, it's pretty amazing. I'm seeing all the rare stuff, FYI guys, I'm working on it. And uh, let's go back this way. So they have 2,000 barrels that are all filled. 2,000 barrels are sitting back there and they're aging here. And it's pretty amazing. And, and the reason I came out here is because one of these barrels blew me away. It was, I call it a unicorn. I'm going to get a unicorn sticker for you. And uh, I'm, I'm just amazed at it. And I want to share it with you. Because it's sitting right here, and it was it was during COVID, and Mark was nice enough to come out with samples. Okay? And Arch didn't come. <laughs> Anyways. I uh, but, but Mark came out, and I tell you what, it's pretty amazing. Let's put these down. Yep. Let's get you here. Oh, check this bottle we line out. It's pretty awesome. Totally automated. And for guys, to, you know, I want everybody to learn how this stuff is done. Oh, before we do that tasting, check out the old stills. This is how these guys learn on those stills. And, and when you learn a story about old line, it's pretty amazing. Look at that still. That's pretty cool. There's another one in the corner. And, and we got to talk about it because there are two old guys they learn from, like guys like me. And they learned how to distill from these guys, which is pretty amazing. They taught them how to cut it, how to how to get that right balance, how to how to make that. And then they moved the still here. Where did you guys you guys where were they when when you purchased the Washington State? They were in Washington State, and then they moved it here. Uh, pretty amazing. All right, come on, let's go down here. So, so we're going to be, and I always like to explain to people, if someone asks to see my videos, it's a 
giant straw. It's like when you were a kid, you threw around for sure. Anyways, we're going to feed. And this is what we're bringing back to Colorado. You see the wine. Yeah, this is, so this, guys, this is a pork finish. I've never heard of a single moment of pork finish. First of all, I'm a giant fan of your guys' product. I mean that. I mean, from a from a single malt, it blows me away. I've never tasted anything like it. From the cinnamon notes, and, and if I get the cinnamon notes, what I get out of it is just an amazing alcohol. Um, I, I, I'm blown away by it. But when I tasted this big guy, I tasted this guy about, say, three months ago, and that was pretty pretty amazing. Stacy's giving me a thumbs up, too. She's liking it. I'm actually surprised she could hold that phone stand. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's talk about this. So what was the whole process behind it? We got four year, four year uh, juice here. Yes. We got three years in the 30 barrel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me a little bit. Three years, 30 barrel, seven mm -hmm. went. Yes, yeah, so, well, so we're, we just started the Lola High School. We're making a single malt whiskey to Joe's point. Uh, but we are aging it in virgin, uh, meaning the heavy char oak to really embrace that bourbon American style character. That's a great point. I, I, I didn't bring that up. That's a great point. So all the barrels are virgin, okay? They're, so it's all new oak. So those flavors are popping out. Absolutely. So you don't have heavy malt. You've got bourbon. I mean, I'm just, I'm blown away by it. I really am. This one is just simply, it's a unicorn. It's, it's a natural it's unicorn. unicorn. It's, and then what's your point? The reason it's so special is that it was in that really, really wonderful, you know, oak forward by design. Uh, whiskey and finish it in several types of barrels. This one is a tiny port, and your barrel is actually the first one that we're releasing. Uh, so this is and the only one we're in Colorado. Uh, so it's going to be it's going to be all the first. I love that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that also, we we picked the thirty gallon barrels. Uh, we we went through a bunch and we picked the best of thirty gallon barrels. That's outstanding. Yeah. Well, I know it's guys. When you taste this, it's a stunning bottle. I think it's. I mean, I really do. I think this is amazing. I'm going to definitely have it on the taste encounter because I want everybody to taste it. Because I never thought I'd buy a single malt finish in a tiny pork barrel. I, I, this is the first one I've ever had, and I absolutely love it. It's going to be $64.99. It's a great price point. It's going to be, what was my final proof on this big guy? One twenty-four. Yeah, around there. So let's go around 124. I don't know. We'll see. When we, we get it, we'll get it uh, bottled up, and we'll, we'll check out that. But I'll tell you what. Filter and those are amazing. From the first day I came to school. What else do we got? What do you get out of I get, well, so, 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 well, yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I guess so. That's funny. Yeah, nobody got to get rid of that. I get apricot. Uh, I'm definitely an apricot. <laughs> Think about that. When you're hearing these notes, I want, I want to, I'm sorry for interrupting. Not really. I, I, want to, I want to talk about that because when you, when you drink a single malt, First thing you say, you got barley, you got barley, you got barley, all this here. Yeah. And I don't get it on this. I get zero. Uh, vanilla, caramel, apricot, you know, maybe plum, things like that. It's an amazing combination. Yeah. It's, it's really definitely unique. It's different than a bourbon. It's different than a traditional single malt. It's like nothing else. And it is a great It's got a really nice, medium finish. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's coming up from the nose. Getting that over that. Hey guys, this is pretty amazing. Hey, you gotta look up what old high means. I learned that too. I'm, I'm going back into, let's say it's a previous war. Um, the first person that puts down the old line and tells me what it is, I got a free bottle for it. <laughs> but I want to understand what it is. So when this bottle gets to Colorado, you get a free bottle. If you watch this video, I want to give it to you. But you gotta tell me what old line means, because I didn't know what it means. And it's pretty awesome. You guys do amazing. You're part of our history now. You're part of our family. You're part of your family. Joe, this is, this is, what's the secret stuff you're working on? <laughs> hey, so secret hey, stuff. Well, we got to work those bottles out. There's some great stuff here, guys. Man, I tasted some amazing spirits. It's something we got to follow this distillery. This is a growing distillery. They make incredible. You guys just check out their normal bottle on a shelf. They make incredible. Incredible spirits. I just, I'm just telling you that, and you get to verify. You get to drink it. You get to see me at the liquor store. Am I wrong or am I right? Come on up and tell me. Hey, and then uh, we'll get some secret spirits coming soon.
Yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe heard a little bit about those and Zyphus on set. Yeah, and we did. Not a lot, but we're working on that. We're going to work on it this dinner. Hey, guys. Hey, from Old Light, an amazing place, veteran owned company, combat members. That's good enough for me. Hey, I say, awesome. Let's make sure we support this company. Check it out. Look at it online. This is an amazing place, having a great time. And hey, I'll give you another video tomorrow because it's going to be another fun distillery. At the end of the day, always thanks for shopping at Lucas one bottle at a time. We truly appreciate your visit. You guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to like and follow us. We love you. We'll talk with you soon. Cheers.